And we are off! Hi Dana, today is Thursday, September 20th. Yep. I don't remember what day it is. Sometimes I think, like, today actually it was Thursday, like the past week I've been all backwards and mixed up. Um, so, yesterday was my super awkward day. Not on purpose, but it just happened to be. Um, so I woke up and I felt sick and stuff, which is never a good way to start your day. And it was kind of a, a longer day for me. I had work and classes and not super fun. So I'm in one of my hardest classes um, it's called Rhetorical Theory of Practice and it sounds as exciting as the title says it is. Um, we basically talk about how words are important. Yeah, it, it's more complex than that, but like what is speaking? But like one of those weird philosophical classes. Um, but whatever. So I'm sitting there and it's the last 10 minutes of class and I'm like, what if, you know, hanging out. And I look across the circle because I just sort of arranged in a circle to, like, promote group speaking or whatever. And there's a guy and he's just, like, staring at the ceiling. And I mean, like, open eyes just at the ceiling. I'm like, well, that's a weird way to space out, but whatever. And I notice the guy next to him is doing the same thing. And I'm like, hmm, and so then everyone looks up, and there's a wasp, and it's not like a wasp, it's a wasp. Like, two wasps had a mutant baby, and like, they mutant together, like, some wasp centipede thing, it was, it was massive, alright? Now, I, you know this, that, um, I don't like bugs, especially yellow ones, like, bees and wasps are terrifying, as they should be. And so we're all looking, and my teacher's like, what should we do? Should we turn off the lights? Because he's just jipping around the lights like normal bugs. And we decide, you know, if we just ignore him, we'll be fine. It's only ten more minutes of class. As soon as we get back in discussion, the wasp falls. The wasp falls on my arm. And, um, well, I, I freaked out. I'm not even going to lie. I screamed. I've never spoken in that class before. I screamed like a little girl, jolted under my desk, and ran four seats over, and would not sit down until the wasp was out of the room. I was, like, freaking out. And, like, a girl, like, four desks over, like, screamed when it fell, too. And I was like, it didn't even hit you! Um, so that was my, my wasp story. And I was, like, on edge the whole day, and the girl next to me accidentally elbowed me, and I swear, like, threw my pencil, and I was like, uh-uh, that's it. Um, then I went to work afterwards, and I was stamping posters, and then the girl next, we had to make copies, um, so we can have a record to make sure it was appropriate or whatever, so, she's like, oh, I'll make your copy for you, and I was like, that's great, you know, th that'll help a lot, and I go to, like, extend it to her, because I think she's on the other side of the office, and she's right next to me, I end up, like, hitting her in the boob, and I was like, I really hope you know that I didn't purposely mean to hit you in the chest. But, we're okay, I think. I think. I don't know. Um, I took a chemistry test today, and, like, I took it in, like, 20 minutes. Everyone else is still, like, on the second page, and I finished eight pages, and I was like, like, meh. Like, I'm a fast test taker, but I shouldn't be that fast. So I'm a little concerned, but not really. Nah, I'm not concerned. Um, yeah, that was pretty much the thing I had to do today. Today's been a pretty, like, relaxed day. Um, I will see you next Tuesday and hopefully sometime this weekend. Because mom's birthday's on Monday. Maybe I'll see you Monday. I'm still trying to figure that out. Okay, bye!